In today's tutorial, we're going to take a quick look on how to do reverse cutting and creasing with the Vulcan FC500 and with SignCut. So here in Illustrator, we have our box, which we want to reverse crease. The big advantage of reverse creasing is that you don't crease on the actual print, which is likely to damage the print and uh, will cause some cracking uh, on the edges. And if you crease from reverse, uh, you will, of course, get uh, much better results and much better creasing lines. Uh, now, one option to do the reverse creasing would be to print double-sided so that you would just print the, uh, the registration marks on both sides at the same position. Now, that's the one possibility, but often you're not, uh, you can't really print uh, double-sided that easily. So for this, there's the option of first cutting the marks and then uh, turning uh, around the material on the flatbed cutter and cut and crease from the back. Now in order to do this, first thing as usual, we have our box here and then we need to add the registration marks. So I'm doing that uh, here. Now we have our registration marks, the same procedure as uh, we normally have. And then we export it to sign cut which we have here. So now we have our uh, graphics and sign cut just the same way as we usually do. And now what we need to do is uh, we only want to cut the registration marks first. That's the first step. So here on the right, I can select which colors I want to pick. So now I only select the black color, which are only the registration marks. Now I go to contour cut. And here I need to select the checkbox cut registration marks because usually it will recognize the registration marks and will not cut them because it only needs them for reading. So I select cut registration marks In advanced settings. Uh, I can set my uh, cutting parameters per color or I just set it here in the tool settings that I want to use the standard knife 60 degrees and uh, can set my, my passes here. Uh, I can set the offset or the normal uh, normal parameters. And then I just click cut out and it will only cut the four registration marks. So once I'm done with that, I can reactivate all colors again by clicking this top symbol here. And then what we need to do is mirror the image because uh, when we cut from behind, of course, it is mirrored. So the mirror tool can be found here at the bottom. So when I click this here, it will mirror the image, which in this case we can't see because our box is uh, exactly symmetrical. So if you have a symmetrical box, you won't see the mirroring, but you need to do it um, to make sure that uh, the logo is cut correctly. Yeah, once we've done that, we can go back into our contour cut function. Now make sure the cut registration marks option is deactivated because now we want to normally cut. Now we click advanced settings, set our normal uh, cutting uh, parameters. So here we have the creasing tool preset and uh, for the red color, we have the cutting tool preset, okay. And then over we go and this is our second step to cut.
Now, some tips. Um, the one is already said is just to print the marks already on the back side. You can um, basically simply create uh, a new file in Illustrator that creates a specific QR code um, and the marks only. So just a blank file with only the marks. And if you always use the same size, in this case A3, you can use this template for all the files you might want to use because the registration marks will always be at the same position, uh, which is 10 millimeters from each edge. So just use the same file. Then you can save this file as a PLT file, and for instance, put it on the USB thumb drive and cut it from there. So it's much more efficient if you have a job of, let's say, 50 uh, boxes you want to cut and you can't print on the back with the marks, then just uh, first cut all the holes because um, then you're basically working uh, in a row cutting the holes one after each other just from the USB thumb drive. Uh, for example, I have a file there called marks.plt, which will cut my marks. And then after that, when you have your uh, batch of material, you just put it, put them all in from the backside and uh, cut the actual file one after the other. So that gives you a little more uh, efficiency on that.